Hey guys, uh, my name is Adrian. I'm one of the trainers here at Iron Ore Fitness. I have my degree in nutrition from Sacramento State. And today we're gonna be reviewing some of the popular uh, movies that are out on Netflix right now. The Magic Pill and then The Game Changers. So the one that recently came out is The Game Changers. The Game Changers is a, a movie that's promoting veganism, right? It's promoting a diet that's gonna be high in like plant materials and, and really reducing and eliminating animal source proteins and really animal source products. The Magic Pill is a little bit more in terms of promoting like the ketogenic diet. So uh, that one's promoting a little bit more of like a high fat, low carb diet. They're still promoting the inclusion or the, the increase of like more plant materials, right? Having a lot more fruits and veggies, but also including the, uh, the healthy fats and healthy like animal proteins. Their biggest thing is really the reduction of like processed foods and processed grains. For the Game Changers, one of the, the things that, that was good about the, the movie is that it promotes and it, it uh, showcases high-level athletes that are on a vegan diet. But in terms of the, the movie, it also makes some like overreaching conclusions. They're really kind of cherry-picking certain studies and certain things in, within the study to, to promote their actual bias. One of the main articles that they use is a, an article where they discuss gladiators being vegan uh, in a certain area in Greece. This study was conducted and they, they essentially got the corpses from a, a certain burial site and then saw that there was a, a higher ratio of strontium to calcium. So it showed that, the, that their diets were high in, uh, rent in, in plant minerals or plant materials. Um, but they make that, they use that in order to conclude that now that the gladiators were vegan, right? And that's a, a big jump in, in uh, conclusion. Although they did have a diet that was high in the plants, it does not mean that they weren't having the animal proteins as well. The other thing is that it promotes it in terms of like performance. And really in terms of performance, that wasn't necessarily what the gladiators were, were focused on. It was really focused on survival. One of the things that, that was actually shown in that same study was that uh, a lot of those gladiators would be what we would consider fat today. They had a, a, a lot of like subcutaneous fat and that made it so it would be able to kind of take a little bit more of like a flesh wound without having uh, a lot of like damage to like vital organs and stuff like that. The Magic Pill has a lot of like really good things that it is promoting. It is promoting the decrease of, of processed foods it's, the, it's uh, promoting the decrease of like sugars. But one of the things that it doesn't affect or the, one of the things that it doesn't talk about is the performance aspect, right? One of the things with keto is that it was initially created or it was initially um, thought of to, to be a clinical um, type of intervention. It has a lot of benefits for some mental disorders and other types of, uh, of diseases like that. But in terms of performance, um, it hasn't really been shown to increase performance or increase the, the ability of you um, of power output in the gym. One of the other things that, it, that uh, the magic pill doesn't really include is it does talk about the, the, uh, all these people that start to change their diet, right? They, they start to kind of take away a lot of the things in their pantry. Um, they start to include a diet that's a, a lot more you know, rich in the, in the vegetables, rich in the meat. And while it does become a little bit more of a high fat, low carb diet, one of the other things that isn't uh, acknowledged is that they are most likely in a little bit of a calorie deficit as well because of all the things that they are you know, uh, taking away from their diet. I think that it's really a combination of both, right? It's really um, utilizing both energy sources, right? One of the things with the Game Changers is that it really um, tried to promote or tried to create a, a fallacy about using protein for energy, right? And really what we, we know is that uh, protein, it can be an energy source, but it's not primarily an energy source. What we wanna primarily use is gonna be our fats and our, and our glucose or the fats and the carbs. In general, uh, a diet that's going to be, you know, um, adequate in like the the calories, adequate in in um, the protein amount, and that's going to, you know, reduce the sugars, reduce the processed foods, is definitely going to be beneficial, right? So while veganism and while the the vegan diet has some benefits, 
one of the biggest benefits that comes from that a lot of times is the, the fact that you're taking away a lot of the junk food and a lot of the other bad you know, processed crap that we're eating. So if you do that in conjunction with, you know, in increasing your vegetables, increasing your plants, right, but also making sure that you're maintaining a proper uh, amount of protein, then, you know, that's where we come with like the, uh, the ideal diet. If you guys have any other questions regarding nutrition or regarding your training, come see us at RNR and we'll take care of you.